Don't eat ginger if you have these health problems. Hi viewers, this is Kuratulan from Neutroplus. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will discuss why ginger should be avoided if you have certain health issues. Subscribe to our channel for some great health tips that may just improve your life. Now, let's begin. Did you know that ginger is one of the most nutritious plants and its active components have a plethora of health benefits? It has also been used for centuries as a natural remedy for a multitude of medical conditions. While ginger is generally considered safe and beneficial for most people when consumed in moderate amounts, there are some potential side effects and risks associated with consuming large amounts of ginger or using ginger supplements. Although it has powerful antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties, there are four groups of people who should avoid it for medical reasons. Blood Disorders People who have blood disorders should stay away from using ginger. While ginger boosts the circulation of blood and can be helpful to those suffering from conditions like obesity and peripheral artery disease. It can be harmful to those who have hemophilia or those whose blood isn't able to clot normally. Essentially, ginger doesn't allow the medication used to treat those conditions to work. Since ginger stimulates the circulation and increases blood flow, it has the potential of increasing the risk of bleeding. That is especially the case for those who already have bleeding disorders or take any medication that slows blood clotting. Overall, ginger may interfere with blood clotting and increase the risk of bleeding, particularly in people who are taking blood thinning medications. Ginger may lower blood sugar levels, which can be dangerous for people with diabetes who are already taking medication to lower blood sugar. Medications Those who use certain drugs to treat conditions like diabetes or hypertension should speak to their doctors before drinking ginger tea or incorporating ginger into their diet. This is because many ginger teas interfere with the medical effect of insulin, anticoagulants or beta blockers. According to Medicine Plus, a medical service of the National Institute of Health, ginger can also interact negatively with other drugs such as antacids, heart medications and antihistamines. Ginger may interact with certain medications such as blood thinners, diabetes medications and high blood pressure medications. So it's important to talk to your doctor before using ginger supplements if you are taking any medications. Underweight If you are underweight or battling anorexia, you should avoid using ginger. For those looking to lose weight, ginger is helpful because it's loaded with fiber and has the capability to boost the secretions of digestive enzymes and stomach pH levels as well as suppress appetite. However, for those who are underweight, Ginger can lead to poor muscle mass and further weight loss. Pregnancy If you are pregnant, you should not include ginger in your diet. While ginger can help digestion during pregnancy, it has the ability to stimulate premature contractions and even labor. It also disrupts the intake of dietary iron and fat-soluble vitamins. According to the book, the 100 healthiest foods to eat during pregnancy Copious amounts of ginger during pregnancy can cause miscarriage or menstrual bleeding. Although it helps to combat morning sickness, doctors recommend avoiding it until at least the last trimester of pregnancy. Ginger is generally safe when consumed in moderation as part of a healthy diet. However, if you experience any negative side effects after consuming ginger or have any concerns about using ginger supplements, it's important to talk to your doctor. Ginger is considered beneficial for most people when consumed in moderation as part of a healthy diet. It has been used for centuries as a natural remedy for a variety of health conditions, including nausea, inflammation and pain. Ginger contains several compounds such as antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, which may help to reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as cancer, heart disease and diabetes. However, consuming large amounts of ginger or using ginger supplements may cause some potential side effects and risks such as digestive issues, blood clotting, lowered blood sugar, allergic reactions and drug interactions. As with any supplement or dietary change, it's important to talk to your doctor before using ginger to ensure it's safe and appropriate for you. Ginger uses Experts define ginger as a plant that comes from rhizomes 
which are underground stems which grow horizontally and form roots with new stems and leaves that grow on the top. In regards to ginger benefits and health benefits, experts say that ginger has been globally used as a natural remedy for thousands of years because of its medicinal properties. With that said, there are many ways to use ginger. It can be used fresh from the ground or even in capsule form. According to the Organic Health Corner, you can even use wrapped ginger to remove mucus from your lungs or even cure a cough. You are probably wondering why ginger can remove mucus and crick off. One of the reasons it's so effective with mucus and cuffs is because it contains oleoresin. Oleoresin has abilities to suppress and relieve cuffs. Ginger recipe. Now that you know who should avoid eating ginger, here is a ginger recipe for all of you out there who eat ginger regularly and are looking for some more added health benefits of ginger. This recipe will help remove mucus from your lungs and cure a bad cough. Ginger contains aromatic compounds like phenyl alkyl ketones, which are all grown together. It also helps break down toxins in the body which can form mucus. If not broken down or in order to make ginger paste, you will need to follow ingredients. Organic honey, 1 tablespoon of ginger powder or grated ginger, olive oil, flour, gauze, a napkin and adhesive tape. Once you have successfully gathered all the ingredients, it's now time to prepare ginger paste. Begin by mixing flour and honey together in a bowl, then add olive oil and ginger and mix it all together again. Once you have thoroughly mixed the ingredients together, put the paste on a napkin and wrap it in the gauze. Once you have done all of that, apply it to a person's chest and stick it with an adhesive tape and leave it on for 3 hours before going to bed so the mixture has time to work. The Organic Health Corner explains that there are no side effects to this remedy aside from skin irritation because of the powerful effects of ginger that can irritate the skin. So what you can do to minimize the chances of that is to add more honey to the wrap. Other Health Benefits of Ginger Ginger doesn't just help with coughs and mucus, it also has many other benefits. One benefit is that it can fight fungal infections. In 2016, a test tube study was conducted by researchers from Iran and they found that ginger was very effective against two types of yeast that commonly caused fungal infections in the mouth. Eases menstrual pain. For women, period cramps and headaches are among the most common side effects that are associated with menstrual pain. Instead of turning to over-the-counter medications, try something more natural like ginger. According to a study that was published in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine, ginger was just as effective at removing menstrual pain as ibuprofen and methonic acid. Ginger was found effective by many women during their period. Lowers cholesterol levels. Our cholesterol helps produce bile and manufacture our hormones, so it's essential to our overall health. But when we have high cholesterol, it can cause blockages and increase your risk of heart disease. According to a study at Babel University of Medical Sciences, ginger was able to reduce the bad LDL cholesterol and also raise the beneficial HDL cholesterol. So if you have high cholesterol levels, then want to know what you can do to improve your cholesterol, consider adding ginger to your diet and see if it helps improve your cholesterol levels. All in all, a change to your diet that includes healthier foods that are nutritious will also improve other parts of your health and contribute to a healthy lifestyle on the whole. If you are currently dealing with any of these conditions or have experienced them in the past, you should consult your doctor first before incorporating ginger into your diet. If you want to start living a more healthy lifestyle, Try to follow some of the health tips in this video. If you have certain conditions, you may want to speak to a doctor first before taking any medical advice or making any changes to your diet. Remember, your health starts with you. So if you want to make a change in your life, consider doing some things that will benefit your healthy lifestyle and improve your overall quality of life. Liked this video? Hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Neutro Plus. Goodbye.